Well, in terms of, uh, I, I do want to talk a little bit before we start about uh, the poll questions, uh, Jeff. And it didn't surprise me that the majority of attendees voted that they use Microsoft Office. Uh, that's in line with what I expected. And I have to say I was very impressed with the results of number two. Everyone did get it right. The largest document you can have in Google Docs is one gigabyte, which is 1,000 megabytes. Uh, what people don't know on the third poll is you are actually, you can have a Google Docs account up to 16 terabytes, which is 16,000 gigabytes. The thing is, the kicker, Jeff, is, uh, you know, one gigabyte is for free. You can actually purchase storage space from Google, and I'll show people that, uh, to have a max of 16 terabytes. There are actually some offices that are using Google Docs to run, you know, all their documents that they need. It, it's a low-cost way for them to do that. So uh, why don't we get started on the slideshow here. And uh, this is what we're going to cover today. We're going to go over briefly what is Google Docs, talk about the components of Google Docs, what the pieces are, what the parts are. Briefly, we'll mention Google Docs versus Microsoft Office, how they're different, how they're the same. How you go about setting up a Google Docs account. It's a lot easier than you realize. And again, Google Docs is free. Uh, there's no charge up to one gigabyte of storage the basics of creating a document and the different document types, the different Google Docs file types, and the Google Docs templates. This is a great area, Jeff, because people don't realize that there is a template, template library of every type of document you can imagine. Uh, last week I needed to write a complaint letter to a company. I thought, how am I going to start to write this? Why don't I see if there's a template? Google Docs has one. Someone had put up a form complaint letter that you could start with. Next, uh, as we get in towards the end, we're going to talk about uploading your files to Google Docs, then how to rename and copy and delete files that are in Google Docs, how to organize your files. You can imagine if you've got hundreds or even thousands of documents and files in Google Docs <clears throat> that you want to keep them organized, and they use a concept called containers which are similar to folders. How to share files with other people. This is another hot area of Google Docs. Many genealogy societies are doing this. They're loading their files, their minutes, their board meeting reports up on Google Docs so they can share them with all the society members. Talk about your Google Docs settings. And that's basically what we're going to cover today. A little bit of a word about the syllabus. The syllabus handout is available with the purchase of the CD recording of this webinar, Google Docs for Genealogists, and you'll be able to purchase that at the Legacy Family Tree Store. Uh, there are nine pages, and I'm going to show and give a sample here. Uh, this is roughly what the uh, syllabus looks like, and uh, it is in PDF format. It's got a lot of screen captures here, uh, very easy to understand. So I want to let people know that that is available. Great. And we're going to get started. So what is Google Docs? Very basic. Google Docs is a web-based application. Now, what do we mean by web-based? It means you do not need to install software on your computer. There is no program to run. There is nothing to update. No CDs, No none of that. You just basically go to the Google Docs website. And it allows you to create different types of documents, spreadsheets, letters, presentations. If I wanted to, I could have created this whole slideshow on Google Docs. Uh, it's just that I'm used to using PowerPoint, and that's why it's on PowerPoint. It is very similar to Microsoft Office. Uh, Microsoft Office is often called an Office Productivity Application, meaning it's got different components that help you run your business or help you run uh, things at home, finances, etc. Google Docs is free, and uh, you can also share documents with other users. Remember, collaborative genealogy is a hot topic right now. Great. Uh, components of Google Docs. This is what we're going to get to the panel in a minute. This is what Google Docs looks like. And basically, you have a library which will list your 
files and documents here in the middle, a sidebar over here which will tell you what's going on. There's home, there's trash, uh, these are collections, collections that are shared with other people. And then the file info. You notice I have a file here highlighted and it tells me all the information about the file. So we're going to go live to Google Docs in a minute and you'll understand it a bit more. What is the library? That basically is where the Google Docs files are displayed. The sidebar, remember on the left, shows you uh, different items in terms of folders, things that are shared, things that are private. And then on the right, you have file information for each uh, file that you're selecting in the library. Great. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to go over here live. This is, you should be able to, there we go. Uh, this is Google, and we're going to use our old friend here. You sign in. And I'm not going to sign in as myself today. We're going to sign in and uh, as our old friend, Ann and Toffel. And uh, you do have to have a Google account in order to use Google Docs. There's no way around that. And again, if you do go to Google, you sign in, as we did, and it says here you can create an account now. And I really uh, you know, urge people to do that. Also, when you do create a Google account, remember to look at the terms of service. This governs what they can and cannot do with your information. Uh, many people are uh, concerned about privacy, and that's your responsibility to figure out basically what is private and what is not private. And uh, personally, I feel pretty comfortable with my information on Google. But again, I want to, full disclosure, people should go to terms of service. And uh, I'm going to sign in here. Great. And uh, here we go. And you notice here, here's on and Toffel. And if I wanted to, I could look at my profile here. And uh, they let you set up a profile. And uh, how about that, uh, Jeff? I even added a picture now for Ann. Oh, I love and, it. Uh, so exactly. And, and if you notice, you know, she used to work at the Copa Cabana. And uh, she was a showgirl. <laughs> uh, but that's 30 years ago when they used to have a show. And uh, so a little bit of information there, you can edit your profile. But what we're here mostly for is documents up here. And we go to documents, and this is what Google Docs looks like. All right. Um, remember, we have the library here in the middle. We have our sidebar over here, and we have information over here. You can change things around as well if you didn't want to display uh, the information here. But what we want to do now is we do want to focus on creating a document. And very easy, go over here to Create New, and you have different types of documents that you can create, different file types. We're going to go with the first one here, which is a document. It does open in a different tab. That's the way I have Google Docs set up, and I will talk about that in a minute. Very plain, uh, looks a lot like Microsoft Office, like Microsoft Word, if you're a Word user. A lot of the bells and whistles are up here, bold, italic, underline, change your font color. If I wanted to, I could say uh, this is a genealogy report, and, and I'm just typing here uh, for uh, William Austin. And again, if I want to, I highlight, go to bold, I can Go here and change the font color, the background color. Whatever I want to do here, I have the ability to do so. It will let me insert photos as well. All the bells and whistles that you have on uh, Microsoft Word is here. I can go ahead and choose files to insert and uh, et cetera. So this is our document. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this highlighting because I find it kind of hard to read with my eyes. All right. If I wanted to, I could bump the font up because I do think it's easier to read when it's a larger font. So you can go ahead and use this to create any document you want for your genealogy. Now, one thing that you might want to, uh, you're concerned about is, okay, how do I save a document? Well, the thing is, the nice thing about 
Google Docs that I love is it has already saved the document for me. It does an auto save every few seconds so I never have to worry about losing my work. One thing I do want to do is give the document a name. Click here. I can say genealogy report for William Austin. Say OK. It is saved. I can go ahead and close or go back to Google Docs right here. I can close the tab if I wanted to. I'll go back to Google Docs and there's my document. Pretty simple, Jeff, huh? Oh, let me unmute and, myself, uh, sorry. <laughs> yes. Sure, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, pre it's pretty simple. It's, it's pretty intuitive, especially if you've used some of these programs already. And uh, Thomas, David asked a question, does Google Docs open files that you might already have in Office? Uh -huh. or, or maybe you're going to get to that. <laughs> David has been planted in the audience. Uh, Excellent. David is anticipating one of my uh, one of my next areas. But what I do want to do first, uh, before I get to that, Jeff, is I'm going to talk about some of the file types here. So I'm going to go back over to my slide presentation, if that's okay with people. So remember, what we did, I want to review here. Well, for creating a document, we went into the sidebar. We said Create New. And then we, we selected document. We could have selected presentation, spreadsheet, form, drawing, anything from here. Also, what I do want to talk about is you can also copy and paste text from existing documents that should say yes on the end, I apologize for that, on your computer or from websites. Let me de demonstrate that live. Okay, we have a new document here. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to my my computer, and remember here we have certain things like uh, my Dropbox is here. I'm going to go to my surnames, go to Austin, and let's say that we have a cemetery listing here, or maybe better yet, let me see what I've got here for different documents. I'm wondering if there's an actual report. So uh, here's military ancestors, my military ancestors. I'm opening this up in Microsoft Word. I can block and copy. Remember, right click, copy. So that's sitting there. I go back to Google Docs and I right click or I use uh, paste, whatever they use for paste up here. And uh, here it is. Uh, I could also do Control V, as Control V is in Victor. We'll do a paste, and there's the information. Very easy to do, and I can do uh, ancestors of Thomas McKenty, military service, and there we go. Okay, so I want to uh, let people know that you can copy and paste from anything, from the internet, from any place that you can get text, you can go ahead and find that information. So back to slideshow. Let's talk about the different Google document types. We have document. Here we go. Document is a blank, like Word document. You would do it for genealogy reports maybe a letter to a courthouse or an archive, very similar to Microsoft Word. Presentation is a slideshow for use in genealogy talks. It's very similar to what I'm using right now for Microsoft PowerPoint. The other one is a spreadsheet, a financial spreadsheet. I'm going to show you in a minute. I've created a research log using Google Docs spreadsheet. And I'm actually going to be able to give that away to everyone. We'll be able to access that and help you in your genealogy research. The other one is Google Forms. This one I want to mention, this is our next, my next webinar on June 1st. There is so much that you can do with Forms in Google 